Um, so here's the deal. Uh, we have some knives that we are very religious about putting the sheaths on them. If you don't know what a sheath is, it's basically a cover for the blade. And we put the sheath on to keep the blade in good condition when it's in the drawer. So as other things are being put in there, it's not going to uh, ruin the blade. Anyways, um, someone was doing dishes and put the sheath in the drawer, not on the knife, and then put the knife in the drawer as well. Um, out of habit, I grabbed the handle of the knife and didn't, the sheath is the same color as the, um, as the knife and with the blade and everything. So to me, it looked like I just glanced and and I grabbed the handle and with my left hand, I grabbed the knife and grabbed the blade. Apparently the sheath was not on it and I sliced my fingers open. Um, this one could possibly use stitches but I'm kind of butterflying it and every time I, I took my bandaid off because I got in the on the shower and um, started bleeding everywhere. And so <laughs> I could probably use a few stitches but I'm, I'm like I held a rag again and I've got this on it with a butterfly uh, underneath it trying to hold it together. But obviously with fingers you move them so much. Uh, I, I need to go buy band-aids because this is actually one band-aid cut in half This little spot right here on my finger Is not that bad. I know that can you guys see it? Not really It's not that bad, but the depth of the knife got into this finger and so, This one's not as bad, but it still bleeds if I bump it just right <clears throat> my middle finger however No go um, so Word to the wise, <laughs> get in the habit of taking the sheath off from the top of the blade, not just grabbing the blade and going. We've had these knives for a while. They've never been in the drawer without sheaths. I guess I'll grab the sheath or not sheath a little different. Idiot. I know. I didn't even look. Kind of like that time I jumped out of a car. Didn't even look. We are making dinner. Me and the only kid that helps me cook. Bridgie. <laughs> Bridger is making juice right now and I am finishing up rice. That's not rice. I'm making, um, sorry about the lighting, chicken and fish and broccoli. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then we're gonna go pack, right, Bridger? Yeah. We have uh, tonight. The kids go to school tomorrow, which is Wednesday, and they're going to school Thursday. I don't go to school. Part day. No, you will. I'll come pick you up. But we need to have some bags packed before. Oh, I didn't even Before this. tomorrow it's two days. night. Before tomorrow night. Oh and God. so we're gonna, um, we wanna create, this kid wants to create a video on what to take on a flight, an overnight flight, but also we're planning for a road trip that is intense because we are gonna be on the road for five, four or five days. And so, <laughs> not only are we on the road for five days, that kid's gotta stay occupied, right? So we're gonna pack for this road trip, but the road trip will start in an airplane, right? Yep. So we're excited. We're going? No. We're going to get our dad, right? Going we're going to get, to get Jake. Padre. We're gonna go get Padre. Are you excited? Wait, I wanna do something. What part are you excited about? The plane. The plane? I wanna try something. Oh, dang it. It doesn't work. You're not on Snapchat. No, 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 look, look. Of course. It doesn't work. It won't zoom in? No, you can't do it like that. It doesn't zoom in? No, it's not Snapchat. It's supposed to zoom in. Not on a regular camera. Oh, I didn't know. Anyway, so, uh, Bridger, what kind of things do you think you're going to need for this trip? I just got past my level on Nexo Nights. <gasps> Awesome job. I got stuck on Oh, them. we also have to pack these other kids because they're going to grandpa's. They're going to be hanging out with grandpa. I'm doing it. 
for five days as well, or four days. I need to call Austin. I better go score that away, huh? Well, get a drink with Grandma too. Grandma, Grandma's gonna love your face. Remember these cupboards that Bridger broke? I fixed them. Um, I did it on purpose. I fixed them. They've been glued. <laughs> they've hung out long enough that I think we can put hey, them back up. You glued it. Yeah. Sweet. Now I can break it again. <laughs> I will kick the butt. You can just fix it again. Expectation. This is going to be everything we're bringing to our grandpa's house. We're so excited to go. We are like beyond excited because, I don't know. So let's show them the stuff. Okay. This is like literally everything we need. Like, I would pack my whole room if I could. So we have a bed set because I don't know if my grandpa will have a bed set. We have Theron's broken phone that he thinks he needs to bring, but it doesn't work. Um, and we have some cleats just in case we play soccer. Some bubbles because the, I don't know that if they have any. A remote control and a plane to have fun. That it goes with. A computer to watch TV on. A mirror to do my makeup. A VR headset. For him. Exploding kittens because my grandpa and grandpa have so many games, but we don't like any of them. A Nerf gun. A Valentine's card that we got last year for Valentine's. A hair blower. A hair blower. Well, a bubble bubble blower. A workout bar. A bag of rocks okay. just in case we want to start. Just in case we want to start a rock collection there. And a big stuffy because our grandparents Mine. don't have any stuffies. And I don't know if our grandpa, like our grandparents, their pillows kind of, I don't know. Suck. Um, so we're bringing 18 pillows. So yeah, that was everything. Wait, wait, what about clothes? Nah. There's one thing we need. Also, we're bringing Theron's Legos just because I don't know if my grandparents got Legos since we were gone, but we really want to have a lot of fun when we're there, so we're just going to bring Legos. Bah. So that was everything that we were taking to our grandparents' house because we need everything. Um, so we're super excited, and what yeah. What are you doing? Recording a packing video for Grandma and Grandpa's house. That's all we're getting. What are you taking to Grandma's? That. This? Um... First of all, where are you going to put it? In the truck. In Grandpa's truck. <laughs> um, let's think reality. You're not moving in. But it's for a week. Yeah. Try again. I'm confused. I get this. This is fun to have while you're away. But why all the pillows? Bubbles? Because, oh, I don't know. Grandma and Grandpa don't have good pillows, and we just wanted 18 pillows to sleep with. A bed set? A bed Bubbles? set. Why? We don't know if Grandma yeah. and Grandpa will have a bed set. And a computer in Grandma's. We want a mirror. They have a mirror. Yes. And a TV. And what are you going to do with this? Your hair. A game. You guys, all right. You guys What's up with the broken over. monitor? A VR it's not headset. Broken. Why are you bringing a monitor? Cause we want a TV. TV. Yeah, they have a TV. They have a TV. Um, you don't need this or this. But or this. But or this. But why? Or this. But or well, maybe this. Yeah. Maybe this. Really? But really? What? Uh, really? What TV, Mom. Tablet. Yep. Mm, all right. How about you guys start over, go get your clothes, a pillow, a blanket, and a stuffy. That's it. And you can also do an electronic that you can bring. So this is okay. None of this extra stuff, guys. What about this? But... We need those pillows, and we need the monitor to watch TV on, and we need yeah, the... I don't have a plug for the monitor. Either I pack you, or you pack you. Fine. Fine. Ugh. Reality. Uh. This is reality. Aaron didn't want to finish the video, but that's what mainly he's bringing. His blanket, his charger to his tablet, his tablet, and his stuffy thing. I'm bringing my blanket, my charger, my dress, 
my clothes. That's like pajamas over there. That's like outfits right here. And then you never know if we're gonna go swimming, so I'm bringing that. Hola, mates. <laughs> Hi, ya mates. This hair wrist, an alligator chopped it off. I'd get a stitch back on. And that's why I have this thing. But anyways, thank you for watching the vlog today. I hope you really enjoyed it. Make sure you go down and subscribe. Comment down below if this accent is really, really cringy. <laughs> if you believe my alligator story, mate. And <laughs> like this video if you liked this video and if my accent is really cringy because I keep going in between Australian Australian and British and maybe a little Irish. <coughs> I don't know, to, to be honest. But anyways, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe today. Stay live, meaning and awesome. Uh.